since referred to as colossal so colossus uh, as far as i remember or as far as i know is the name of a giant is the name of a huge monster is the name of a titan and titan and uh, colo colossal titanic colossal are uh, similar adjectives if not synonyms but uh, colossus refers to anything that is of huge proportions okay big rather uh, rather too big for our comprehension or understanding and this poem too refers to plats uh, um, father this this poem is also a reference to plats uh, father and um, this poem talks about um, plats relationship with uh, uh, her father so um, it starts like this i shall never get you put together entirely i mean of course because the figure is so big that it is impossible for human eyes it is impossible for us to you know understand uh, the colossus in its entirety সম্পূর্ণ কলোসাসকে এক চোখে দেখাটা মানুষের চোখের পক্ষে সম্ভব নয় যেমন ধরো ওই তোমরা ইটার্নালস বলে সিনেমাটা দেখেছো কি না জানি না ইটার্নালস বলে যে সিনেমাটা সেখানে যে সেলেসিয়াল বলে যে ক্যারেক্টার গুলো আছে একটা ক্যারেক্টার আরিসেম একটা ক্যারেক্টার টিয়ামট বলে কেউ একজন জন্মাত ছিল বাট তাকে ফাদার the personality of the father uh, or the influence of the father was so huge so big that um, uh, plath could not uh, uh, put uh, could not get a um, get a measurement of uh, of of uh, her father of her Uh, of his uh, personality pieced glued and properly joined so um it's like a dream it's like a it's like memory like when we when we remember something there is always something that is left out especially when your exams are approaching um where in examination halls we frantically try to remember everything that we had read and we can remember things only in bits and parts and we ask uh, the person uh, who sits in front of us or behind us uh, that uh, just shuru ta ekটু bole de baad baki ta amar mone pore jabe so memory dream uh, even in dream we dream uh, we remember a dream though we can see a dream in its entirety while we are asleep when we wake up we remember the dream only in bits and parts um uh, so the memory of a person uh, the memory of a person's personality the memory of the time that we had spent with the person uh, can only be in pieces and they can be glued together unnaturally and uh, they can be joined by some other means uh, here of course glued and jointed means um they are metaphors for uh, somebody's attempt to remember everything that could be remembered of uh, uh, people of some uh, persons so uh, it it is not possible for plath to piece and glue and properly join uh, colossus in its entirety and here colossus is a metaphor for um plath's troubled relationship with her father mule 
bray, pig, grunt, and body cackles proceed from your great lips, it's worse than a barnyard. So, mule, mules are actually khachor, uh, bole, and uh, they are farm animals, and uh, this is a reference to uh, the position, the geographic location of um, um, Plath on her uh, farmyard. I mean, within this mem within this poem itself, which talks about memory and talks about the gaps in memory, she hints with the help of this image, barnyard image, and the image of the barn animals that she is living in a barnyard that she is living in a farm uh, in a farm and, and she is uh, a person who is living in the in the countryside of america so what are the things that comes out from the great lips of the colossus braying like a mule grunting like a pig and body cackles cackles uh, like uh, with the, the sounds that the cocks or the hens make and they are body they are not decent they are not genteel but they are body having some kind of sexual uh, connotation ha having some kind of a sexual uh, reference uh, to themselves um, so from the great lips say if you are looking at a huge statue say if you are looking at the statue of um, uh, the Statue of Liberty, say, in America, and all of a sudden the statue comes to life, and uh, all the statues uh, say is uh, uh, the statues might um, make these kinds of silly noise, like uh, braying like a mule, or uh, grunting like a pig, or you know, saying something sexually, uh, or hinting some sexual innuendos then how would you feel you would lose all respect for the statue of liberty and you would think that you know this is incongruous and i believe that this is uh, this colossus is also uh, or, or the colossus can be considered to be a dream because in dream we see very incongruous things like uh, things coming out of a mouth of a person who is not supposed to say things like that or uh, we see that uh, we experience that we are seeing somebody's head and someone else's torso karur matha karur dhor erakum amra dekhi in in a moment we are somewhere and then another moment we are somewhere else or we exchange a few things from one uh, place onto another place from one aspect to another aspect. Okay, so these things are all made in the dream. So in the dream, it is not only the colossus statue, the colossus image, the gadhar moton bhaya korte, ba shumurer moton ghot ghot korte, ba mane hen even cocker moton cackles dite, ba darker moton pack pack kore gure bade dite. And these are body, these are not decent. And it is worse than a barnyard. Barnyard e, jekhane boi jontu janwar gulo thake, jekhane odher ke posha hai. Shekhane jodi mane shokal bala specially amra thaki, ta amra shuni, ta hale okhane theke bivinno dhoroner awaj bedoi. Aar shegulo mane jara shuno obosto noy ba beshi awaj hole amader ota khada plage ba amader kor kosh lage arki. Catcher match or catcher match or what that? Especially shakal bella, shonde bella. Jokhon orda guru gulo ba jontu gulo bhetore dhoke, to kono awaj kore, abar beerono shomai awaj kore. So whatever sounds are coming out from the lips of the great colossus, that is the father, makes no sense. Kar amra ei je nonsensical kotha bartha gulo aage o shune chilam. Daddy the. Karon daddy the plat bolchilo je or baba je bhashay kotha bolle. Sheita plat ato ta bojhe na. Karon or daddy German bhashay kotha bolle. Aar plat hoy to German ta ato ta bhalo bojhe na. Ba ekdomi hoy to bojhe na. Taijon no 
আমার মনে হয় যে এখানে একটা ল্যাক অফ কমিউনিকেশন হচ্ছে এখানে প্লাত যে কথাগুলো ওর বাবা ওকে বলতো সেই কথাগুলো প্লাত বুঝতে পারছে না এবং তাই জন্য প্লাত ইজ কম্পেয়ারিং দোজ ওয়ার্ডস দ্যাট হার দ্যাট দ্যাট হার ফাদার ইউজ টু সে শি কম্পেয়ার্স দেম উইথ ক্যাকলস অ্যান্ড ব্রেইং অ্যান্ড গ্রান্টিং and maybe she is making fun of the german uh, dialect or the german language itself karon german bhasha ke onekei mane khilli kore karon oder bhasha ta oneke bole je ora jhogra korche ba ora mane chitkar kore kore kotha bole but i don't think that is uh, true this is just a stereotype anyway let's move on to the next stanza perhaps you consider yourself an oracle mouthpiece of the dead or of some god or other to bolche je ageo amra dekhechi je or babar moddhe ekta god complex chilo ba yer mone hoto plather mone hoto je or babar ekta god complex ache because we do not see the representation of the father here i mean in these two poems the father is just the butt of ridicule আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে ওর বাবাকে প্লাত একভাবে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করছে আমাদের সামনে বাট উই উই ডু নট সি দ্য ফাদার স্পিকিং নট ইয়েট তো বলছে যে তুমি নিজেকে ভগবান বলে মনে করো বা তুমি নিজেকে ওরাকেল বলে মনে করো কোনো ধরনের ওরাকেল বলে নিজেকে মনে করছো যে তুমি মাউথ পিস অব দ্য ডেড মানে যারা মরে গেছে যারা পাস্টের লোকজন ডেড ক্যান অলসো ডেড ইজ অলসো আ মেটাফার অর মেটানমি অ্যাট লিস্ট অফ দ্য পাস্ট অর অফ সাম গড অর আদার তো যেমন ওরাকেল অ্যাকচুয়ালি যেটা করতো আর কি ওরাকেলরা যে কাণ্ডটা করত সেটা হচ্ছে যে ওরা ভবিষ্যৎবাণী করত মানে ওদের ওপরে নাকি ভগবান ভর করত আর ভগবানের কথা ওরা নিজেদের শব্দের মাধ্যমে নিজেদের অঙ্গিভঙ্গির মাধ্যমে ওরা মানুষকে সাধারণ মানুষকে বোঝাত সো অ্যাকর্ডিং টু প্লাত প্লাতস ফাদার ইউজ টু কনসিডার হিমসেলফ টু বি দ্য মাউথ পিস অফ দ্য ডেড লাইক হি হ্যাড হিজ ওন ভার্জন অফ হিস্ট্রি অ্যান্ড হি ইউজ টু স্পিক আ লট অ্যাবাউট দ্য পাস্ট মে বি ওয়েন হি ওয়াজ ইন দ্য মিলিটারি অ্যান্ড ওয়েন হি ওয়াজ ফাইটিং ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ার অর হোয়াট এভার অর সাম গড অর হি কনসিডার্ড that he is the mouthpiece of a god like the god speaks through him or some other big uh, designation that uh, according to plat uh, he, uh, he, um, uh, her father used to uptake 30 years now i have labored to dredge the silt from your throat i am none the wiser so she has been trying to understand what her father wanted to say to her or what her father's character was actually what her father's personality was actually uh, in relationship to her or, or or she had tried hard and very hard to understand what was the real nature of her relationship with her father but she had tried that for 30 years and she is comparing this labor she she is comparing this effort to understand her relationship with her father with dredging the silt from your throat as if the throat is a canal as if the throat is a river and uh, she is trying to dredge she is trying to clear uh, she is trying to um, dig the silt মাটি পলি যেটা পড়ে যায় আর কি রিভারের তলায় সেটা সেটাকে ড্রেজ করেছে সেটাকে ক্লিয়ার করতে চেষ্টা করেছে যাতে ওর বাবার কমিউনিকেশানটা ওর কাছে ক্লিয়ার হয় বাট শি ইজ নান দ্য ওয়াইজার নাও ইউ ক্যান কম্পেয়ার দিস কাইন্ড অফ এফার্ট দিস কাইন্ড অফ রিলেশনশিপ ওর দিস কাইন্ড অফ অ্যাসোসিয়েশন উইথ uh with this movie called interstellar uh where there was the relationship of the father and the daughter there, there was a it was depicted that the, the father and daughter relationship was depicted and there the father tried to talk to the daughter by 
pushing of books from the shelf um even and the daughter took a long time to understand what it really meant um so uh, silvia plath also tried her best to understand her relationship with her uh, dad but that was that did not take place like for the first 30 years of her life um let's go to the next two stanzas okay scaling little ladders with glue pots and pails of lysol i crawl like an ant in morning so she is using a ladder to climb up uh, to the heights of the colossus even to uh, climb up onto the knee of the colossus uh, which is a huge statue which is a huge figure you need a ladder and she is carrying glue pots because as the first stanza mentions that um uh um she's trying to put together the entire history or she's trying to put together the entire personality uh, of her father so she is carrying a glue pot and pails of lysol lysol i think is uh चून चून टके लाइसल मैं पेल बोलते बालती 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 चून नहीं चून कम करते चून लागिए सदा करते बिकज वी रिमेम्बर दैट दिस फादर वज एक्चुअलि ब्लैक मैन फ्रम डैडी इफ यू रिमेम्बर I crawl like an ant in morning. Our, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the one who, but Sylvia Plath told us that I'm, I'm one of the one who says, "Je, I'm one of the." Just a minute, there is a phone call coming. Hold on. Okay, so she compares herself like an ant, and uh, ant in mourning. Um, we don't know if ants really mourn the death of their own, or maybe if the queen dies, or if an ant becomes disoriented. तो खून वही ant तब बुझते पड़े ना जे कोठाय जाबे या कोठाय जाबे ना. तुम जो दी एक ता ant के मने एक बार हल्का कोड़े मारो बा ओके कौन सा उन्हें बेदो ना दाव बा ओके और पौध थे के अनेक बार दूरे छोड़ी है दाव देन द एंड बिकम्स डिसोरिएंटेड एंड व्हेन वी बिकम डिसोरिएंटेड वी बिकम लाइक वी वी डोंट नो वेट टू डू व्हाट वेट टू गो एंड इन मॉर्निंग इन पेन इन सैडनेस वी ऑफ़न ट Uh, very wrong decisions we often um, we often lose the plot of our lives we don't know what to do and this thing according to uh, um plath is is what she is going through because she do not she does not know where to start where to finish because the colossus is so big and in 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 comparison with the colossus she is an ant ant to amader tulonate onek choto hoy to colossus er tulonay ant ta microscopic hoye jabe over the weedy acres of your brow so the ant is stuck in the eyebrows of the colossus and uh, those eyebrows appear to be like weeds agachar moton dekhte lagche ant tar jonno और से आटके गए देखिए जर गए खूब लोम है कूकुर बड़ाल तर गए मशा को पोका गए आटके जाए सो द ब्राउज वेर बुशि मे बी अफ हर फादर एंड इन दोज बुशि ब्राउज Plath is stuck like an ant in a weed, weedy uh, place. Acres, like there are like acres of 
his brow his brow is so huge his brow is so big that it seems like acres to mend the immense skull plates and clear the bald white tumuli of your eyes to bolche je ei ei je glue pots ebong pails of lysol niye jacche o keno कारण और जो विशाल बड़ो इमेंस स्काल प्लेट गो आकाली एक होल नयेटार मध्य अनेक रकम भाग बाटोड़ा आज मैं अनेक रकम पार्टस आज मन है टोटी सेवेन पार्टस आज स्काले तो स्काल प्लेट गो के जीगल भेगे गेगल के ठीक करते हैं कि परिष्कार करते हैं द बल्ड ह्विट टूमुलि अफ योर आईज मैं सदा पार्टा जो है चोखे से नोरा गई कलोस इमेजार कलोस स्टैचूटार तो से लाइसल दिए से परिष्कार कर तलटाओ नहीं ग दिस क्लियरिंग इज आई थिंक अ क्लियर मेटाफर अफ ट्राइंग टू अंडारस्टैंड व्हाट हार फादर मेन्ट टू हार like when a person loses uh, an important person like a father early in life uh, that person cannot understand what the relationship was with that person and and they try to revisit photographs or letters or some memory that might help them understand what is going on okay so the screening and this joining is a is a reference is a metaphor for the constant effort of um uh the um of of a plot to understand uh, her relationship with her father okay next is uh just a minute a blue sky out of uh orestia arches above us orestia uh i think is the reference to this uh play uh where um electra and other characters were there so i I did talk about the Electra complex earlier, and Orestia, I think, is the name of a play. Just let me be sure that Orestia is the name of a play. Just give me a minute. Uh, yes, it's a trilogy of Greek tragedies written by Aeschylus. and uh, the mother of agamemnon and so on and so forth so yes uh, agamemnon was murdered by her own um, wife and uh, killing as removing the memory of a person uh, is a constant metaphor with uh, plath okay so blue sky out of orestia uh, arches above us so this colossus figure uh, is also taken from the greek mythology and uh, orestia only refers or orestia only hints towards that uh, greek uh, culture and in greek culture we knew we know Mm, that there were a number of troubled relationships between fathers and daughters husbands and wives and since we are talking about agamemnon in in orestia um we need also to talk about the troubled relationship of uh, plath with uh, ted hughes and so uh, did uh, uh plath is plath talking about her murderous tend- uh, tension uh, tendencies towards uh ted hughes maybe o oh, father all by yourself you are pithy and historical as the roman forum so the father is now pithy and historical as the roman forum 
historical because the father is in the past and uh, historical because uh, as I say as, as we discussed that uh, uh, her father's image is very much associated with um, the image of the Second World War and that makes it more historical somehow we consider Second World War or First World War to be like more historical than any other periods of time which was less active which had less energy in it which had less uh, tensions in it uh, but it is like the Roman Forum so Greek Rome uh, the the range of uh, uh, plots imagery is, is tremendous and all these things are taken into consideration I open my lunch on a hill of black cypress your fluted bones and acanthine hair are littered so she is an uh, if, if you if we consider if we can consider um, Plath to be a uh, tourist now she has gone uh, to have lunch on the hill of the black cypress again a Greek idea um, Cypress is a machine. Cypress is a place where uh, you get uh, to make uh, juice. And uh, the cypress is black. The cypress is like black like the father's skin tone maybe. And uh, she is over there maybe somewhere on the Colossus. She had opened her lunch on the hill. Maybe it's the nose or maybe it's the uh, shoulder which is considered to be the hill. And there, your fluted bones and acanthine hair are littered. So, no matter where she goes, no matter what she does, the memory in the form, the memory of the father, the memory of the father's personality, come back to haunt her like these bones and the hair. Uh, bones and hairs are something that are not easily destroyed even after uh, they are like buried for a long time uh, so and these are fluted bones like these are hollow bones when the wind passes through the bones they act like a flute they act like a musical instrument and acanthine I think is like thick uh, bushy or curly uh, here, but we remember that the father is not Greek, but the father is Aryan. The father is uh, German, Austrian, Polish. So Polish people do have curly and thick hair. So uh, maybe she is also referring to the postmodern idea of the combination of various factors, combination of various incongruent things like. She is writing in 1960s and the influences of postmodernism could also be felt on, on her and in her poetry. And she is one of the people who unconsciously developed a number of uh, postmodern themes and postmodern images. One of which I think is the, is, the, is the image or the statue of the Colossus because this Colossus has acanthine hair and yet in daddy we know that the father had blue eyes which is more of a Caucasian uh, uh, image okay so uh, just let me be sure what this acanthine is I think it is thick or bushy acanthine here Canthus plant. Uh, yeah, thick. I think it's thick. There's a lot of other meanings over here, but I think it means thick, thick here. Okay. So uh, since we are at the end of uh, our time and uh, I am sorry again I apologize for not uh, doing it professionally this time because I forgot to give the links earlier and that resulted in the loss of another 30 minutes in which we could have had finished uh, this poem and then we could have had gone on to the short story and other things that are left but 
uh, we we need to uh, stop here and we will meet again uh, through a different link um, from 1 pm to 3 pm okay but if you have any doubts from these uh, four paragraphs four section four stanzas you can ask me or we can finish these two uh, paragraphs the uh, remaining two paragraphs in the next class and then we will go into uh, the short story that is wife's letter and if we have time then we will go for um, uh, Foucault otherwise we will try to finish uh, uh, wife's letter which is not a huge uh, story and you can try to read it in between and come back okay so let me stop here and we will meet at 1 pm again okay yes shagota you have something to say shagota no sir no sir okay all right so bye bye for now thank you sir